I'm happy to say we no longer have active severe thunderstorm warnings in place in Colorado. All that severe weather starting to move into Kansas. Now here's the Colorado Kansas state line. This is the complex of thunderstorms that initially developed way to the west in the mountains and I 25 earlier today. It has progressively moved eastward through the plains. Now we're just getting a lot of lightning and heavy rainfall, but no more severe thunderstorm warnings behind that main line of storms. We have a few secondary and third round of thunderstorms popping up in the mountains. Those may make it to I 25 before dissipating this evening. So that main cluster of rainfall and lightning, it's pushing eastward. It will be clear of the state by eight, nine o'clock. And then we've got this second or third round of showers moving towards I 25 this evening. Those should wrap up between about 11 and midnight, but the secondary round of showers should be very spotty and very light, but don't be surprised if you see a sprinkle this evening. Uh, meanwhile, these showers have brought much needed rainfall to our region over the past 12 hours. A good portion of southern Colorado has at least had some rain. We picked up anywhere between about a quarter inch to an inch and a half. La, La Hunta reporting 1.4 inches of rainfall from that thunderstorm that moved through. So as we head into the next couple of days, do expect this trend to continue. We're finally back to normal temperatures. 88 was our high in the springs today. We picked up a quarter inch of rainfall. 95 was our high in Pueblo, picked up just over a quarter inch of rain. And we're going to continue on this cooler stretch of weather in the coming days. So now we're mostly to the 60s and 70s. We've got that rain cooled air overnight. We'll drop to the 50s and 60s in the plains, upper 40s to low 50s in the mountain valleys. Tomorrow, I don't even have a 90 degree temperature on the board. 70s and 80s for highs. It's going to be really comfortable. Plus, we are looking at more thunderstorms for tomorrow. The threat is going to be mostly for heavy rainfall, especially for the southern I-25 corridor, our southern mountains. But all across the region here, I-25, the mountains, portions of the plains could see that heavy rainfall. So going through that Wednesday forecast, we'll start off with a few clouds and mostly around 11 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see those thunderstorms pop up in the mountains first, and then they'll expand across the region. The storms on Wednesday will certainly be hit or miss, but they'll be very slow moving. So when you have heavy rainfall over one spot, we'll likely see some areas with ponding on the road and we'll be watching our burn scars very closely. Those showers could linger until pretty late on Wednesday. So looking ahead tomorrow, I have a storm impact three out of five. The same impact we had for today. Storm timing will be about noon to 11. So the main hazard tomorrow would be flash flooding with those slow moving thunderstorms. Make sure you're keeping your outdoor plans in the morning time frame. You'll have to have an alternate plan for the afternoon if a storm moves through. We're going to have 80s for the rest of this week and then upper 70s for Sunday and Monday and even into Tuesday. So comfortable for temperatures with the daily thunderstorm chance. Pueblo upper 80s to low 90s looking ahead for the rest of the week. We'll see a chance of thunderstorms during the afternoon hours through Monday. For Canyon City, you're also going to be following this pattern. Mostly 80s, low 90s possible Friday. A daily chance of an afternoon shower or a thunderstorm through Monday. And finally, Woodland Park, 70s for you for the next seven days. And we've got that daily chance of a thunderstorm through Monday.